So that's what we're doing. We're sharing big ideas. We're rubbing shoulders with the best and the brightest. We bring to the stage here the talent that really is moving and driving and inspiring a whole new creative force in the community and beyond. So I want to introduce Mr. Ian Schwarber and welcome him and all of you. So thanks for coming, Ian. We need to acknowledge and highlight the best practices of those that are doing this kind of work. And by this kind of work, I mean experiential learning. I mean entrepreneurship. I mean academic civic engagement. I mean breaking new ground. I mean actually caring about our community, caring about our society, and making a difference with your lives versus just chasing the almighty dollar and trying to make sure that when it's all said and done, you've got the most in your bank account and you're the richest man. It really isn't about that. It's about being wealthy in spirit. So golden purpose is trying to get to a place where you're doing the thing you love most, it's the thing you're best at in the world, and it's something the world values. So with that, we're going to bring up our guests, um, and uh, we're going to talk about breaking new ground and, and people that moved into areas that were new to them and how that went for them. Thank you guys very much for listening. All these years I was doing what I wanted to give respect to my parents. I saw success in it because of our, our, our I don't know, the the goals that our family taught, but it was my creativity and my need to want to make change in the world and my need to solve problems that led me to uh, being a developer and being you know, the, an architectural designer that really is where I think I bring most value. I also kind of looked back at my career and I said, you know, the places where I grew the most, the most rapidly, there was always some a mentor there. There was always somebody I could bounce ideas off of that had been there before, they had the battle scars. So I, I kind of just decided, you know what, the way we teach people coding is wrong. The process is flawed, it needs to be improved. So I started the software guild around this whole mentor-apprentice model. You know, my, my first students, I basically told them, look, you don't, you don't even have to pay me tuition. If, if you don't get a job, you know, you're, you don't lose anything. Um, but it worked. 